We're going to be looking at how to find and use audiobooks on OverDrive. You can get to the OverDrive sign-in from the High School Library webpage. Once you get to the sign-in page, you will select Wapaka High School and you will use either your student ID number or the faculty number provided to you by the librarian to sign in. Once you're at the OverDrive site, to find the audiobooks that are available to you, go to the top right and click Advanced Search. The search page will allow you to narrow your focus on the books that are available to you here on the OverDrive site, but for our purposes right now, we're going to go look at the formats. Select the drop-down menu and select All Audiobooks. Once you've selected All Audiobooks, you can either determine whether you want to see all titles that exist or only the available titles and click search. You can tell that these are audiobooks by the headphone symbol that is in the top right corner. So once you find a book that looks of interest to you, you can hover over the cover and click borrow. When you borrow the book, you will get a screen showing how many books you have checked out. At this time, I have two books checked out and so it shows that I have one of three checkouts remaining. You can then go to your checkouts page and see the books that you have checked out. You can go to my account and click on checkouts. So when you have your audiobooks checked out, you would just click listen in your browser. Listening in your browser is a good option because you can do this across multiple devices. If you're using your Chromebook at school, you can use that to listen to your book or you can use your phone elsewhere. Once you check out a book and download it, it is tied to that one device. So if you feel that you might be using multiple devices, listening in your browser is the better way to go. Once you have an audiobook, you would simply click the play button Blackstone Audio presents Hollow City to listen to your book. There are several options you have available to you when you are listening to your book. At the top there is a timer where you can increase the speed of your book. The second novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children by Ransom Ritz. This book is read by Kirby Hayborn. Towards the heron. And lo, towards us, coming in a boat, an old man, grizzled with the hair of elves, moaning, Woe unto you. So you can adjust the speed of the book. There's also a night timer, the little moon. If you click on the moon, you can set the timer for 30 minutes and the book will automatically stop after 30 minutes. So if you're listening while you fall asleep, you won't get too far ahead of yourself. There's also a bookmark feature. So you can click the bookmark and it'll put a bookmark right at the spot where you were listening. And then finally, there is a menu that you can select and it will tell you the different chapters in the book. It will show you your bookmarks. It'll show you the history of where you were reading last. And there's also tips for you to use while using OverDrive audiobooks. When you are done with your book, you can either let the title expire in the amount of time that it is given under the lending period, in this case, 14 days, or you can click return title to free up space in your account for other titles. It will ask you if you would like to rate the book before you return it. If you have any questions about using OverDrive or using OverDrive for audiobooks, please don't hesitate to give me a call.